welcome to jce connect so in today's presentation i'll be discussing in brief the important tests on bituminous binders as you if you remember in the earlier presentation i had discussed on uh, bituminous materials in detail and i had made the list of tests on bituminous binders uh, just to recall uh, we have made the list of uh, tests and that is first uh, penetration test then ductility test viscosity test softening point test specific gravity test flash and fire point test loss on heating test solubility test like this we had made the list so out of this very uh, some of the important tests i'll be discussing in the presentation so first we'll start with the penetration test that is a standard test specified by Uh, various uh, codes uh, followed in different countries if you take india that is is indian standard 1203 if you are taking ash to that is t49 uh, like this it is specified in detail actually this was designed by uh, bowen in 1889 a uh, bitumen test for determining the consistency range or uh, you can say grade of bitumen and uh, based on the penetration of a standard needle under you know, standard test condition so in this uh, test a needle of uh, 1 mm diameter bearing 100 g of weight is allowed to penetrate into a bitumen sample at 25 degrees celsius for 5 seconds and uh, the apparatus used for this test is known as uh, needle penetrometer this uh, the diagram i'll show in the next slide and uh, the needle uh, penetration is measured using the dial gauge which is uh, arrangement is made on the top that is having a least count of 0.1 mm or 1/10th of mm so here uh, this uh, the bitumen is tested uh, uh, to get the uh, grade or uh, say penetration values for example if you take a bitumen sample having a, a grade of uh, 30 per 40 it means the penetration of needle is in the range of 30 to 40 times of 1/10th of millimeter that is nothing but 3 to 4 mm if the uh, bitumen registers a higher penetration value it is classified as softer bitumen means that same 100 g weighing arrangement needle 1 mm needle is penetrating up to uh, is penetrating penetrating higher depth in the bitumen sample means the bitumen is softer it is not resisting much so and that is a softer grade bitumen in india according to is uh, 73 uh, 1992 earlier uh, we are using this uh, penetration pg grading system uh, so there uh, the bitumen is used for paving uh, have been classified into six grades where uh, like uh, s35 s45 s55 s65 s90 s200 like this classifications were made so as i mentioned earlier for example if your uh, grading is say s35 that means the penetration grade value is in the range of 30 to 40 if it is if i am mentioning say s yes, 65 penetration value is in the range of 60 to 70 like this that is um, also mentioned in morth in 2001 further this uh, characterization of bitumen under cold conditions so it is what i have discussed is with respect to normal conditions where we are taking a specimen at 25 degrees celsius and we are doing the test in cold conditions the same penetration test can be conducted on a bitumen sample maintained at a temperature of 4 degrees celsius so here slightly the procedure changes here uh, uh, that is done at 4 degrees celsius and the needle uh, of standard size the same uh, needle we are using but uh, the 
weighing arrangement is not of just 100 grams it's a 200 gram weighing arrangement and it is applied not for 5 seconds it is applied for 60 seconds that is one minute and uh, like this the test is done so we are uh, doing for cold condition it is different for uh, normal conditions it is different and another term comes that is uh, penetration ratio PR mm. so uh, here PR is I think but the ratio of uh, penetration value found at 4 degrees Celsius divided by the penetration value found at 25 degrees Celsius into 100 you will get the values in percentage ok so this is all about uh, uh, penetration test mm. so it is one of the very important tests hmm, specified in the next so here you can see the penetrometer instrument with the cups and the arrangement on the uh, dial gauge here one tenth of mm the least count and that uh, five seconds earlier uh, not uh, we can uh, hold and we can uh, move the arrangement now it is made electronic and the entire arrangement is same mm. so we'll go for the next step this uh, penetration test is having certain limitations also as uh, this penetration test is an empirical test it has no relation with the fundamental properties of the binder and uh, next is that is the we are doing a test at 25 degrees Celsius but nowhere it is related to the uh, practical that is you are mixing temperature laying temperature compaction temperature all are more than 25 degrees Celsius or it is at a higher range if you take for example uh, it's a heating temperature 150 and above mixing temperature then it is 150 and above laying temperature 135 compaction same above 100 so it is not practical which is mentioned and uh, the bitumen having the same penetration value may have different performance while in the service depending on its temperature susceptibility so here with respect to temperature uh, its uh, performance is different even though they have the same uh, PG value penetration grade values but the performance is different so because of these uh, limitations uh, we had gone for the viscosity grading and uh, that we will be discussing in the further presentation thank you so next test is ductility so here in case of flexible pavement construction the bitumen binders uh, they should uh, possess good ductility values reason behind that is this binder whatever which uh, will be using it should uh, uh, it uh, forms a thin film around the aggregates and the ductile film of binder improves the physical interlocking of aggregate bitumen mixes under traffic loads the bituminous pavement layer is subjected for repeated uh, deformation and uh, recoveries as I mentioned that is in case of flexible pavement that is uh, we can see if a heavy uh, vehicle is uh, say a multi axle truck hmm, carrying uh, say aggregates or say if our road construction material if it is carrying you can see when you see the pavement the movement hmm, it is in terms of very uh, small you can see in terms of uh, uh, my uh, not even mm less than that so that movement we can observe especially in hot sunny day on that uh, bitumen if a heavily loaded truck is moving we can see some impressions also on the 
flexible payment so the binder material which does not possess sufficient ductility would crack and permit the surface water to enter into the pavement uh, resulting the rapid uh, deterioration and failure of the pavement so this uh, ductility test is carried out on bitumen to test the adhesive property of bitumen what which property adhesive property of bitumen and its uh, ability to stretch Uh, that's what we will be doing in this uh, particular test and that is stretching of the bitumen sample that is ability to stretch the bitumen may satisfy the penetration value but it may fail to satisfy the ductility requirements then also it is of no use we may get softer uh, or higher value of uh, penetration grade but if it is not ductile then it is of not uh, not it's not a good material it's not uh, useful for uh, pavement construction the ductility value is uh, expressed as the distance uh, in centimeters uh, to which the bitumen specimen of standard size uh, can be stretched before the uh, the thread breaks means we are stretching and there there is a formation of thread and it is if you had seen the machine in the laboratory that is having different gears gear arrangement is there we can control the speed we can control the temperature the water so that is uh, test is conducted at 27 degrees celsius that is room temperature uh, with a rate of pull is 50 mm per minute that is what i was telling the gear arrangement uh, until the stretched specimen breaks until that we need to maintain the same and the uh, standard uh, uh, bricket specimens or bricket to molds you can say are uh, as a minimum cross section of say 10 mm by 10 mm that arrangement will be there so in that uh, specimen uh, that is bitumen will be heating and pouring it and uh, and the test entire assembly we are keeping in the uh, that is ductility testing machine hmm? and we are operating that is ductility machine functions as a uh, constant temperature that is water bath with a pulling device at the pre calibrated rate hmm? uh, two clips uh, are thus pulled apart horizontally at a uniform speed of 50 mm per minute hmm? so here you can see the bricket mold on the right side where bitumen specimen is uh, poured at the center that is 10 mm width is maintained and at the rear side minimum of 20 mm width and the uh, spacing uh, between the edge to edge outer edge is 75 mm inner spacer is um, of 30 mm width and uh, this arrangement what we see uh, in the ductility testing machine you can observe their gear arrangement and the inside coil will be there to heat the water to bring it to a temperature required temperature of 27 degrees celsius the ductility values of bitumen generally vary from uh, 5 to say over uh, 100 for different bitumen grades the minimum ductility value of uh, 50 to 75 is generally specified for uh, bitumen used for pavement construction the next test is softening point test so by the ring and ball method 
so in this test the temperature of the bitumen is measured at the point when it becomes soft as a, a standard test procedure and that is as per is uh, 1205 1978 to 2002 bitumen specimen is heated until it becomes completely fluid this as a standard procedure uh, as per CIS 1205 1978 or 2002 uh, bitumen sample is heated until it becomes completely fluid this fluid is filled in two brass rings of standard dimensions steel spears of weight 3.5 grams and a diameter of 9.5 mm are placed over the bitumen filled brass rings the brass rings each with a spear are placed on a on the top plate of that frame and the frame is immersed in a distilled water bath which is uh, maintained initially at 5 degrees celsius for 15 minutes the height of uh, water above the steel spears should be 50 mm and the vertical distance between the two plates uh, should be 25 mm the water is heated at a uniform rate of 5 degree celsius per minute throughout the length of the test when the steel spears sink through the rings alone certain portion of melted bitumen and uh, uh, ju it just touches the uh, bottom plate of the frame means in the next diagram you can see that is entire arrangement is kept in the uh, distilled water bath and uh, that is heated at a uniform rate of 5 degree celsius per minute and when you are heating the water gets heated and water gets heated then the bitumen that also will become viscous and whatever the metal balls which, which are kept on the rings that weighs just 3.5 grams will exert a pressure on the bitumen and it will slowly uh, come down and when it touches the bottom plate then we need to stop the test here uh, the softening point of the bitumen is tested and uh, a report uh, and it is uh, to have a correct reading we can do it for but you can take the average of two to three s samples and uh, if the expected softening point of bitumen is above 80 degrees celsius glycerin is used instead of water instead of uh, that water bath and at an uh, initial temperature of 35 degrees celsius so this uh, softening point test uh, is may vary from uh, uh, different uh, types of uh, bitumen that is the values may range from 25 to 120 degrees celsius it is in, mentioned in different uh, literatures okay. if the softening point of bitumen is high it indicates harder grade of bitumen and if it's low it indicates softer grade of bitumen it's as simple if it is taking uh, higher means it is harder mm. it requires more it requires demands more heating mm. it depends it's harder and uh, 
according to this uh, is 73 2006 a minimum temperature of softening point for uh, paving bitumen grade is vg10 vg20 vg30 uh, and vg40 should be 40 45 47 and 50 degree celsius respectively right so for a different grades a different softening point values are there that is from 40 to 50 degrees celsius so here you can see this entire arrangement only the bottom portion uh, the heating arrangement is not shown rest all is same you can see the metal balls are inside the bitumen and that entire ring from the ring arrangement bitumen along with the metal ring had come down and it has touched the plate at the center thermometer is inserted to monitor the temperature of water and the next test is specific gravity test so this is very um, important the basic fundamental uh, test uh, specific gravity of bitumen binder is the fundamental property uh, frequently used as an uh, used for uh, classifying the binder uh, for uh, paving jobs or construction jobs in most uh, applications the bitumen is weighed but uh, finally when it is used with the aggregate system the bitumen content is covered on volume basis using density values the specific gravity value of uh, bitumen is also useful in bituminous mix design the density of uh, bitumen is influenced by its chemical composition increased amount of aromatic type compounds or uh, say mineral impurities cause an increase in specific gravity and the specific gravity of bitumen binder is uh, we know the uh, definition of a uh, specific gravity that is with respect to say if you want to speak with respect to bitumen that is the ratio of mass of uh, given volume of uh, the binder to the mass of equal volume of water distilled water at uh, uh, say temperature of both that is 27 degrees celsius the specific gravity is determined by using the pycnometer which we use it for generally you can say uh, specific gravity of any other material if you want to say uh, fine aggregate uh, sorry uh, fine aggregates or soil not the density bottle pycnometer will be using or by preparing a specimen of cube shape or semi solid to solid uh, bowls are made hmm, and uh, that we are uh, putting in the specific gravity bottle or say pycnometer not specific gravity it is very small so so they they are using the pycnometer we can uh, follow the standard test procedure W1, W2, W3, W4 we know that is empty weight with water with uh, uh, specimen and uh, only with the water and we can uh, the, using simple formula we can calculate the specific gravity um, and that is specific gravity is obtained by dividing the weight of uh, bitumen by the weight of equal volume of water and generally the specific gravity of pure bitumen is in the range of 0.97 to 1.2 and uh, the specific gravity of uh, cutback bitumen may be lower depending on the type of type and the proportion of diluent um, uh, material which will be using and if you take uh, the specific gravity of tar it is in the range of 1.1 to 1.25 so that is star is bit on the higher side thank you very much please do like and subscribe the channel thank you very much